Yeah, I'm really getting excited for season two of ReZero. We'll finally get answers. Or more questions. Probably more questions. So I want to take some time and talk about why I am so excited for season two. Along with a couple of my worries about it. I did this before Fruits Basket Season 2, and I really enjoyed talking about it, and I also enjoyed the dialogue with the fandom, with their comments, and me replying, and all that, so... Yeah, fun times, so I thought I might as well do it with 3-0 as well. While I do have a couple worries, I do want to be clear that I am way more excited than worried, and I'm sure it will be a fantastic show, but anytime I get excited, there's always like the thing in the back of my head wondering, well, what if it's not as good as I hope? So, hopefully that will be wrong, but I still want to talk about it here to, like, capture my thoughts at this point in time. Alright, let's get into this. First, and probably the biggest reason I'm excited for Season 2 is because I'll finally get answers. There are so many things that we don't know about the world. The characters, what's going to happen? Like, is Puck really as fluffy as he looks? I want to know. And the obvious question, beyond Puck's fluffiness, is why Subaru was brought to this world, and what's his connection with the witch? I also want to know, like, why does time reset when he dies? What is Amelia's connection with the witch? What does it mean for the people to want to rule the country? And what's the thing going on with that dragon? And what are all the character motivations, like Roswell and Beatrice, or the witch's cult as a whole? ReZero is presented in a way that it feels like all these answers are out there somewhere that everything is happening for a reason but that reason is being kept from us and i love stories like this where there's a ton of mystery and suspense at the start and then we slowly get all the answers and everything comes together there is nothing more satisfying than finally seeing the entire picture like you remember that episode from attack on titan last year you know the one that was such a fulfilling episode finally understanding the truth and I want to see the same sort of thing happen with 3-0. But with the show built upon all of its mysteries and unknowns, there's a chance that when we finally get the answer, they'll be a bit disappointing. ReZero has built up the expectation so high that they have to really deliver here. And the answer can't be too predictable, otherwise it just seems lame. But the answer needs to make sense, otherwise the whole world falls apart. I do have faith in ReZero, but after seeing a lot of anime that fall apart, or a certain other big western show that fell apart, well, there are some precedents to be worried. One of the things though I am really looking forward to is just seeing more Subaru. He is a wonderful protagonist, he's driven, he wants to help those he cares about, and is just a fun character. But he's also weak. The thing I love about Subaru is how he figures out his way to overcome the enemies or whatever problem he has. And I also wanted to see him get more times to really shine, in the way that only Subaru can. At the end of the Arc 3 interlude, he makes a comment about wanting to become a great hero. And while this is definitely foolish, I want to see him succeed. And while Subaru does have success from time to time, he also encounters his fair share of suffering. And that's what makes him so interesting, how he deals with all the terrible things that he's put through. So I want to see him suffer to see how it makes him grow, makes him a better person, and lets him overcome all the suffering. And based off what I know about Season 2 so far, there's going to be plenty of suffering for him. Another thing I really want to see is more cool moments from the supporting cast. Yes, Uber is great in everything, but it's really the vast supporting cast and the way that they're used that makes ReZero such an interesting anime. So I want to see more of their stories. Let's give them more cool moments to shine. Though my worry with both giving super cool moments and supporting cast cool moments is that will it be enough cool moments for everyone? And I'm worried that when they try to give the focus to certain characters, they'll have to take it away too much from the others. As an example from Season 1, Rem was a big focus on much of Season 1, and I loved her. She got a lot of cool moments to shine, just being cool, helping Saber and all that. But then we got to the final battle against the Witch's Cult, or at least Sloth's part of it, and then she was just put on that bus and sent away which felt really bad. I would have loved to see her help Subaru in delivering the final blow, or just have had more of an impact there. But instead, we didn't get that. Yes, I know there's more going on here, we'll get to that soon, but I think this illustration makes my point. I don't want the characters I love to just be sent away for the big final moment. Though I guess this is sort of a good problem to have because the show has so many amazing characters I want to see more of. So in a way that the fact that I'm worried about this is further evidence that the show is really good. And I do have a couple more reasons, but for me to get into those, I'll have to spoil the ARC 3 interlude, so if you don't want to read those, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. But for those who have read those, you guys know what I'm talking about. 
and that is seeing the impact caused by Rem being erased and Cruz losing her memories. Rem being erased like this is devastating for Subaru. And I liked how it showed the limits of his return by death. He can't just reset time to fix everything. So I'm excited for him to be in more situations where his ability is not the answer. It really is overpowered, and it sort of takes away any tension because we can expect that, oh, he'll just reset time again and again, and then he will eventually get his happy ending. And it feels like now the show is going to illustrate times where that is not the case. So I want to see that, how he will deal with the failures he cannot undo and try to figure out a way out of whatever crazy situation he's in. I'm also wondering if like Graham or Amelia will find out about Ram and what their old reaction will be. Like how will Ram feel that she has a sister that she completely forgot about? And Roswell too. Roswell is probably one of the more knowledgeable members of the cast, so will he know that something weird is going on, even if he doesn't know exactly what? And Krush too. She is a very strong, capable character, and that's why I liked her in season one. But now without her memory, what will she do? She's still strong, but without her memories, she's less confident. And I'm really interested to see how she will try growing through this. And Felix, too, like, what will his reaction to this be? He wants to help her, support her. But he probably has no idea what to do in a situation like this. So yeah, the interlude gave me a lot to be excited for. So yes, that is why I'm excited for Season 2. Let me know the biggest things you're excited for as well, because I'm curious to hear those. Though please, do not spoil anything from Season 2. I will really appreciate going into that as blind as I can, though I already know a couple things. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. And I will definitely be talking about ReZero Season 2 as it airs, though I don't know exactly what angle I'll take. Let me know if you have ideas, though.